Am I a fool for buying Festool? I mean, look at the shirt I have. I didn't even saw on my back. And they didn't even pick me to be one of the testers. That would've been nice to have a free saw. Let's talk about Festool pricing, why it may be good for you, why not? So stay tuned and we'll dig into it. So we're gonna kinda go vlog style with this, kinda winging it, but I first wanna get this out the way. I don't use only Festool. I've got Rigid, I've got Milwaukee, I even make pocket holes, which is controversial. But there's about six things that I've written down that I want to talk about that made me go with Festool for a majority of my tools. And there are exceptions because Festool doesn't have a battery powered router, which I love having this Milwaukee. I got it on a sale and it's honestly, it's been awesome. I wish I had the dust collection of Festool, which is the first thing I want to mention. So Festool is really focused on dust collection and making it efficient, where I think other companies, it can be more of an afterthought, like let's just stick a little port here and call it a day. You know, when you're sanding and you're doing it right, you can touch the surface and there's very little that comes off. When I'm using this right here, if I have the bag attached to it, <clears throat> I'm picking up around 90%. I mean, this bag is full of quick. When I'm using the actual vacuum with it, it's like 98%, <clears throat> it's, it's fantastic. It, it really is. And so that's important for me because I don't like having a dirty space, uh, makes it harder to work, but also better air quality for my lungs. That's important health wise. Second thing is, well, it's got a 30 day money back guarantee. <clears throat> so let's say you try this and you're not convinced, just send it back. They'll pay for the shipping. Repackage in the box, um, you get a label and they will refurbish it and sell it for 20% less with a one year warranty. So it's nice to be able to try it out to see how you feel about it. And I have bought tools and returned them because I just wasn't convinced that it was a better solution or it wasn't right or I didn't like it. You can return it for whatever reason. The third thing is you have a three year warranty. A lot of places have a year or two. So you can send it for free if it needs to get repaired. Usually get back in a couple days. I haven't had to send anything in for repair yet and I've had this since like 21. Everything works great. So it's just nice knowing that they do take care of things and insure it for a long time in case something does happen. So even if you're buying it in the used market, then if it's within a three year window, you know that anything happens, you can get it replaced. The fourth thing is the features of the products themselves. So I love how this is very low vi vibration in the hand. I've heard some where it's just terrible. Your hand's ringing afterward. I haven't had that experience with this. It's relatively quiet. It runs on battery and you can plug it in as well. Um, this thing <coughs> is very efficient with the blade. I love how I can adjust things on here. I'm not gonna go over the features. It's not supposed to be a review, but Festool makes some really unique tools. I love this drill. Um, you hold it like this and you're actually in line with the drill bit where if you're holding it this way, you're not in line with the drill bit. It's just a different way. So you have more force behind the head, especially when you're trying to go up high and you can't get two hands up for whatever reason. It's nice to have this and it's lightweight. So sometimes they have some really unique tools that just do things that others can't. The fifth thing is, and people say this, they say Festool is a system. I think a better way of saying it is the products integrate well together. It's like their own ecosystem. It's like Apple, everything integrates or mostly. So this table, I can connect a track to it for this to ride on. Um, everything that is table based is the same height. So let's say I am using my miter saw and I need to have a long board. It's gonna be perfectly level. I'm using my router table, it's perfectly level. Um, on the track, you can use the jigsaw you can use the router. So I love how the things interconnect. It's a smarter, even the way that their sustainers or their boxes work. Uh, with my dust extractor off to the side here, you can stack the sustainers on there. So if you're going mobile, you need to carry things in your car, it's on there. You can even make the sustainers such where they stack up and they're even with this surface, because even the heights of them have been considered. 
So I love just the thoughtfulness that's gone behind the products and making things work together. So I think the context of Festool, uh, being a German company is, and I learned this, I didn't know this, was that when you, when you rent in Germany, a lot of times the kitchens are just a room with hookups. So you have to hire someone to come in, install things because literally it's just an empty room with water hookups and electrical. So they need to be able to be mobile. And I love how when I, you know, maybe if I can grab a sustainer, let me grab one real quick. So I just got this, I got 55 bucks, which is not cheap, but not bad either. So I love how all my sandpaper is here, nice and neat. But when I'm, I can put this next to my saw and it's perfectly flush. They stack together. Again, I'm not gonna review on these, but I do like the sustainers quite a bit. And again, the heights are such where you can stack them to where they're even with this for even more support. <coughs> the sixth thing about Festival that I like is the company itself. So when you look at Costco versus Walmart or Sam's Club, Costco tends to pay better, have more benefits. Um, people work at Costco for decades and it's because of how Costco treats them. And that's the thing I like about Festool is they are a company with morals and ethics and they treat their employees very well, be it in Germany or the US or wherever. And so it's nice to know that I'm paying a premium because I'm supporting a company that values its employees. We are treated as humans, not just indispensable inanimate objects. So how do I really justify Festool to myself? Um, I come from the background of owning a business. We do portraits, we have a portrait business. And for one thing, cameras can easily cost three grand or more. And this is not even close to three grand. So you can get a lot of Festool for three grand or four grand. I mean, you could probably get most of what you want from Festool for five grand. And this, the next big component is, well, how long are you going to have it? If you're gonna have it for just two or three years, like a phone that I'm using right now, that's like almost $1,500 with the protection plan. And there's a deduct deductible with that. So you're spending like easily $1,600. Well, again, $1,600 gets me a lot of Festool that will last me way longer than my phone. And so when I think about, okay, let's say a saw is $1,600. You have it for 10 years. Well, that's 100, it's 160 a year. That's about 15 bucks a month. And if you're getting all these benefits of not having to clean up as much, better air quality, which health is kind of priceless, it's more enjoyable, it, it just makes sense. And I know it can be harder to look at that and think, well, I'm just a hobbyist, so I don't need fancy things. Well, we don't work just to pay bills, right? I mean, I don't work to pay bills. So I like doing things for myself that make my life more enjoyable. And the irony is we can say, oh, well, I don't wanna spend that kind of money on that because I'm not a pro, but yet we'll go out and spend money on this and that and this and that. These little things are a couple dollars here, a couple dollars there. But by the end of the year, you may have blown $1,500 on all these little tiny things that don't give you near the satisfaction as a tool that makes you more efficient with bring. And when we moved to this house, I said to my wife, I don't have woodworking tools anymore. I have home improvement tools, meaning that when we're in a loft, we didn't, we, you know, maintenance was included. I have to maintain this property. So now I get to use this in our home. I get to use this in our home. All these tools I get to use for improving our home. And so they're no longer restricted to just a hobby, but now they have the additional value of being able to save me money because I can do things where I traditionally hire someone to do. So it's not just for pros. And some people, I, I saw a comment, was like, you know, I've been doing this for 40 years and okay, yeah, great. That's, that's nice to know. I mean, it just says that you don't change your ways. And there are some things that, you know, don't need to change much, but I mean, who uses a corded drill these days? Very few applications require a corded drill. But you don't see people, but again, that person who said, well, I've been, you know, I don't need fancy saws. I've been doing basic stuff for 40 years. I'm sure they have a cordless drill, come on. 
Um, you see some pretty wacky comments out there just to justify people being cheap. <clears throat> and if you're watching this video, I'm not saying that you're cheap. You could be cheap, in fact, you probably are, because I think all of us have a cheap bone in us. That being said, you have to look at the cost of things. And I'm gonna show you something. This is my sandal and it's wearing down and I paid like 20 something dollars for, for it. I would much rather spend $200 on a sandal that lasts me 10 years and not have to keep buying them and spend the time and the money and the frustration. This has something that's, that's well made. So when you look over the long run, you may be actually saving money if you're using better components, if you're getting more use out of it. So I hope this um, answers a couple questions that you guys may have had about Festool, why someone get it, whether or not it's right for you. Again, you can test it. And I would encourage you, if you are interested in a Festool product, just buy it. Return it if you don't like it. You know, I see people on forums online and they go in these like basic, uh, it's like a beginner woodworking group I, I follow. And there's some cool stuff in there, but you see people asking, is it worth it to buy Festool? It's like, well, these people don't use Festools. They're just giving baseless opinions. Go into a Festool group. There's a Festool owners group and there's a Festool North American group. And you can ask people, hey, you've had this drill. You've used it for like several years. What's your opinion? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I guarantee you, they've used more than just Festool. So they can actually give you an educated exp uh, opinion based on experience, rather than someone who just looks at and says, I don't wanna spend that money. Here's my opinions. I mean, everyone's an expert, you know? Everyone thinks they're an expert. So talk to people who have actually used the tools if you have questions. Um, that was how I got this was, I asked the question, you know, what if I were to get a Festool drill, what do you guys recommend? And believe it or not, there's a lot of dissension about that. A lot of people do not agree on which tool, but it did seem that people generally agreed on this one. So I thought, you know, if this is the one Festool drill that everyone can agree upon, where they're like, listen, I won't I won't buy any Festool drills but this one. I was like, you know what, let me try it. And it is expensive, but there are people who've had this drill for 15 years and they bought another one of them because they love it so much. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a try. And now that I've tried it, I've gotten used to it. I like how, how I hold it. I like how light it is. I mean, there's so many things I like about it. There's a video I already made about it, so I'm not gonna go into that. But I thought it was insane. Look, this was like, well, today it goes for like 350 for the kit. And that comes with like the sustainer, some accessories and whatnot. You can buy a standalone too. So that was like, $350 today versus $150 for this drill plus the impact driver. So yeah, I mean, it's, it is more expensive. But that being said, this does things that this cannot. And I'm gonna have both these drills for a very long time. I have no intention of selling this off. I think it's great to have these tools. This, is, this was a great way for me to get started. And again, this is not going anywhere. I mean, I, I don't mind the heft. To be honest, I think it feels nice. Um, but like when I push it like this, I mean, I can basically blow the dust. It's a blower. I don't I don't care for that. When I do this, there's a little air, but not like this. And you can hear like this, even the more powerful one doesn't make as much noise as this. And I don't like having a bunch of noise. So, I know this can get kind of a little ramble, so I'm gonna close it off here. If you agree with me, let me know why you like Festool. If you disagree with me, let, let me know why you don't like Festool. But don't complain if you haven't used it. You know, if you've used it, you know, like Aaron, I use it and I don't like it. Hey, I, I can't find fault with that. And if you have questions about it, let me know. So thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, please subscribe for more videos on different builds I'm doing, different techniques. And I'll see you guys in the next one.